Mrs. Leticia Morati, President E for Impact Foundation, Ambassador Majid Abdelaziz, Special Advisor to the Secretary General on Africa, Mrs. Lakshmi Puri, Deputy Executive Director, UN Women, Mr. Ahmad Alwindawi, Secretary General, Envoy on Youth, Ambassadors, members of the Diplomatic Corps, philanthropists, and esteemed guests. It is a great pleasure and honor for me to address this august gathering, though I would have liked to be here in person. Africa is a continent of great possibilities. It is a continent endowed with mineral and natural resources, but its most precious resource is its people. We are a continent of a billion people, and by 2050, it's estimated that we'll be more than two billion. And what characterizes this population is that it's a young population. We are a young continent, as opposed to the aging continents elsewhere. It is therefore very important that we invest in this young resource in our people, especially in their health and in education. We need to skill them, especially in the science, technology, engineering, and maths areas so that they can innovate and drive our transformation. To transform our continent, we need to ensure that we can industrialize and add value and benefit our natural and mineral resources. Starting with agriculture, we are going to modernize agriculture, but also improve and grow our agro-businesses. We are going to be industrializing. And of course, to industrialize and to add value to our natural and mineral resources, we need skilled young men and women. It is the youth and the women that will be driving the transformation of our continent. And of course, amongst the skills that they need is entrepreneurship because it's an acquired skill and we are very excited with the work that Mrs. Morati and her foundation are doing in training young African men and women as entrepreneurs. But of course, she needs a lot more from other partners so that they can scale up and train many, many more. In addition, we need mobilization of resources so that indeed, when our young people have innovated, they can commercialize their innovations, but also those who want to be entrepreneurs can start up their businesses, and those who are small businesses can grow their businesses. So this gathering is taking place at a very opportune time when Africa is embarking on implementing the 10-year plan of Agenda 2063. And of course, Agenda 2063 is an Africa-specific sustainable development plan. And we need partners like you to implement this plan. And we therefore like to thank you, especially for putting emphasis not only on youth, but also on women. Because women are more than half the population of Africa, and also they are the anchor of the family and communities. As it is said that if you empower or educate a woman, you educate a nation not just an individual. It is also shown through research that companies 
who have women in their top management are more competitive. And we know that empowering women has a multiplier effect because the families uh, become healthier, the children get edu more educated than the previous generation. In part because women invest 70% or more of their income in the family compared to men who invest about 30% of their income in the family. So it makes social and economic sense to empower women and youth, but also it is their right. So I look forward to the results of this meeting because we think it will go a long way in contributing to a prosperous, peaceful, and integrated Africa driven and managed by its own citizens and playing a dynamic role in the global arena. I thank you.